All right, we're going to show you how to register a two-color vinyl graphic today. I'm kind of doing this backwards. I'll show you the artwork when we get done here. What I have here is a top color. This is the silver. This is going to go over the bottom color. Customer requested rest requested red. What we'll do is first. I've already applied the mask to the top color. I prefer clear just because it's easy to work with. You can also use the paper. The paper works just as well. It's just a touch harder to see the registration marks. What we'll do is we'll press that on good and firm so that's attached to the transfer paper. We'll lift this up, slide this guy into place. Now we're going to take the backing paper off. We won't crumple the backing paper up. We're just going to lay it back on, but we still want to be able to see these silver registration marks. So, hopefully you can see good. We take, set it on, get these guys roughly close, line up one, line up the other, and press it on. Now I've got a little bit of transfer tape that sticks over. That'll hold everything down. Flip it over, take the backing paper off, and keep this area loose. You don't want to put tension on it. You don't want to pull on it. You just want to let it roll onto itself, and we just roll it on. Now apply the decal, and the decal is complete. You can take your scissors, cut off the excess, and nobody's ever got to know about your little cheater marks. Now I'll show you how I did this. Like I said, we're... Uh, we're doing this a little backwards today. I am using Sign Blazer. What I'll do is I'll go up here and I will select Ungroup. What you can see is I have my silver placed right on top of the black. We'll go Edit, Undo. Now when I go to cut this, as you'll notice, these registration marks are only in black. If I go to cut, now it's going to cut this, it automatically selects the black area. So I have the black backing, which what you saw in the video is red, and the registration marks. Now if I go up here and I select silver, it selects the silver layer but it keeps these registration marks. I downloaded these registration marks off of uscutter.com. I went to their forum and they have uh, registration marks. And what I do is, we'll pretend that I don't have registration marks here. I'll go to file, I'm gonna save this. I don't wanna lose anything. I'll go to open. Now over here, if you select append, that will keep the original artwork open but I can also select another file to open it with it. So way on the end I have registration. I'll select him as long as I have a pen selected right here I can come up and click OK. Now that will open my original document keep it open and down here I'll zoom in so we can all see better we have the registration mark and these are sizable, movable, uh, you can turn them if you so wish and they will show up on any layer, any color that you select. So you don't have to change this color, you don't have to match the color to your background color. I hope this helps you.